Welcome back to Motorhoming in the Slow Lane. I'm Sarah and this is Lee. In 2020, we bought our first motorhome, Sophia, and travel as much as we can with our two crazy beagles, Bella and Lexi. If you're new here, why not hit the subscribe button and follow us along. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Motorhoming in the Slow Lane. So um, if you've been watching any of our previous videos, you'll know that we are now just about ready for the big one. So Sarah and I, in a couple of days time, will be heading way up north. We've got, we've got a drive up to uh, Ullapool in Scotland where we'll be catching a ferry across to the Outer Hebrides. So Sarah and I have given ourselves a few days to get up there. So we'll be leaving um, home on Thursday night. So it's about 48 hours from now. And we were going to wild camp or free camp um, on the way up, just find somewhere to park up. But we found uh, we found lovely T-Bay services, which is, I think, the only motorway services that's got a, a campsite on the uh, grounds. So we'll be staying there for uh, just one night and then we'll be continuing the journey up to Ullapool. Hopefully we'll be in Ullapool on Friday afternoon and then we get the ferry across to Stornoway on Sunday morning. So um, we always bring the van back to the house a couple of days before we set off and we thought it might be nice for you just to see what state the van is in. So um, because of the length of journey that we've got coming up, we're not going to be taking an awful lot with us. We're getting all our shopping and all that sort of stuff um, in Inverness on the way. We've got a click and collect at the Tesco's up there. Um, and because we're going on the ferry, we're not buying any fresh stuff. We'll wait until we're on the um, islands before we pick that up because the fridge will obviously be off for a good few hours. So um, all we're taking with us is our clothes and equipment. Um, and you can see from the way the van is uh, at the moment, we've just got to find somewhere for all this stuff to go away. So um, as you can see behind Lee, um, oh, we bought some new books, didn't we? We were feeling um, cultural. Yeah, so we bought, I think Lee got, what did you get? Moby Dick. And I think I got uh, The Mysterious Island. So I think we were feeling... Um, Jules Verne, yes, yeah. we've become literary in our old age. Um, we've treated ourselves to a new duvet as... Um, our foam has gone, so we're hoping that... So that duvet is just for us to lay on. We've got a duvet that we sleep in, but that one we'll just use as uh, our bottom sheet because our foam has uh, got a little bit... I think that's our Christmas present, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little bit thin. So we're uh, that's just to try and make things a little bit more comfortable. Uh, so we've got some more clothes here. Um, some more clothes here. Sarah's clothes, that is. So yeah, the, the van is looking um, pretty crazy. Oh, when we treated ourselves to new slippers. So yeah, packing begins. So we've packed away. Uh, so our cupboards are looking quite full. Um, we've packed, I think, quite lightly. Lee doesn't think we've packed lightly. Um, we've reorganised all of our cupboards. I've bought some really cool little um, cubby, what are they called? What are they called? Storage boxes. Some little storage boxes. Um, so we're in a really good place. Um, we are now going to measure the van. We think we know um, how long she is and we think we know how wide she is, but we don't have it written down anywhere. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to measure her height her width and her length and we're going to pop it on a piece of paper and pop it in the front of the van uh, just so we've got it ready uh, tomorrow all i need to do is give the van a hoover um, pack the last few bits give it a quick polish and then i'm going to make the bed up because on thursday we will be going straight from work up to two base services and that's it we're off so we are on our way to our um services we got here about half past nine yeah, it's now coming up to half past ten um, we're just having a nice hot drink and some um, mini barbecue pork pies 
Uh, we took a wander up to the services. The farm shop is absolutely amazing. Um, if you're ever going past here, highly recommend it. It literally has everything you could possibly want. Uh, the caravan site when we arrived um, was busier than we expected. It's very, very dark. So if you are getting here la uh, late, it's quite hard to pitch up. Um, so yeah, that's just something to be mindful of. Uh, we took the dogs for a walk on the dog walk. Um, and like I said, we're settled in now. Uh, alarm's going off at five. I think we're going to go back to the services in the morning and get a bacon or sausage sandwich. Yum, yum. Morning, everybody. So we are six o'clock Friday morning. Uh, we're up and ready to get on the road. We've just walked up to the service station. Uh, got their famous back, so I've got the sausage and bacon. Sarah's gone with that. I bet Sarah's gone with the sausage. I've got sausage. So, uh, uh, good farm produced uh, products. We'll be getting on the road in about 10 15 minutes, I guess. Uh, next stop will be Tesco's in Venice. And if you could hear a weird noise, Bella decided she was going to have a drink. Do the bells. At that exact moment. Yes. <laughs> We made it uh, just over 600 miles and we are in Ardmere campsite about three miles outside of Ullapool. So we've got two nights here and then we're uh, getting the ferry across to the Outer Hebrides. So first things first, get the dogs some exercise because they've been cooped up in the van all day and then I'm going to get some food. <music> So good morning everybody, it is now Saturday morning, Sarah and I had a good lie in this morning, we were absolutely shattered um, after yesterday's epic drive north. So um, we've got up this morning, uh, sorted a few bits out, we've got about 24 hours or so until our ferry tomorrow morning. Um, so we are just going to take a walk into Ullapool. Ullapool's about three and a half miles from where we are and we're going to see if we can walk around by the lighthouse and then get onto the beach and walk along. So. Uh, Fingers crossed, let's take you along and see what we see. So we decided to walk into Ullapool um, and we came off the main road because uh, the man on our campsite said if you get to Rue Lighthouse you can walk along the beach. Um, we've been walking for like an hour. Are you, are you not coming? It's quite intense. How did she get up there? Slowly, girls. Slowly. Good girls. Wait. Wait. Bella, wait. It's a bit slippery. I don't think this can be right, can it? I think the man in the campsite was having a mad five minutes. So this is, is what we're faced against. Apparently, you can walk to Ullapool. Ta da! Yeah, then we are in Ullapool so we've uh, just arrived in the village and we are just taking the riverside walk into the town centre. So we've just come across this on the walk into town. The dogs are hot, we've been going for about two hours. So uh, after a long walk into Ullapool we've done about, I don't know, about five or six miles so far today I think. Um, we've had a look around Ullapool um, and we stopped at a lovely little restaurant called uh, Seaforth and we've had haddock and chips. The obligatory iron brew, um, and just looking out over the, the harbour. 